Love my clavinet, you know, it's all about the clavinet. That's really yes. the key to our sound. And um, the original one I've had, which I used for probably 15 years, I got from a Freddie Jones band. He's from Okay, here. right, right. Good. Speaking of Chicago. And I filled in for him on some keyboards when we toured with him back in the day. Okay. And so to kind of thank me, we were in a pawn shop in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And we saw this uh, owner professional for $100. And I was like, man, would I love one of those. And, and they went ahead and bought it for me and gave it to me to say thanks for sitting in with them. And that thing just became a, you know, I wasn't even really planning on it, but it just became a huge part of our sound. And then, you know, we got the Wawa on the clav. And, uh, you know, I just basically steal from everybody who sits in with me. Johnny Neal sat in with uh, sat in with us in Nashville. And, you know, Johnny just does these amazing keyboard, like, syncopation things. It's very busy, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, for when it's uh, space time, you know, when, it, when it's time to go to outer space. You know, these things over here. What are these things called? But the, the line sixes are what gets me through the... Uh, the, the spacey parts, you know, kind of piggybacking like this. Attach the wah-wah to that, and it's like... So for the space parts, I just kind of take uh, the intro to Won't Get Fooled Again. Right. You know, and just maybe like... That basically gets me through space. Mm -hmm. uh, we're using it on our acoustic tour, you know, nice old upright. How does that MIDI strip work? I still can't uh, It actually works with lasers, so there's no, it's nothing physically attached to the keys, but there's a little laser focused on each key. But since it's a laser and not a wire, I I'm counting that as acoustic. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, one of the effects you get I really like is there's a spring reverb in the organ. You yes. can do that thing by pulling draw bars and pulling the reverb out. This is key. Fall in, uh, put in this reverb unit down here. And that gets me su through some space too. Uh, uh -huh. You know, you just take the draw bars and you do the, and you put up the uh, reverb all the way. And, and you just kind of do this thing with the draw bars, which kind of has this Doppler effect almost. Like. The old turn the or organ off and on in right. the middle of the thing. The pitch you know? band. Yes, yeah, so that's how we do our pitch band, you know, so like. And I do that when guitar players sit in. Because uh, they're, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, my favorite thing when people sit in is an old Professor Longhair trick, you know. You know, piano, I do my Professor Longhair boogie. That, that's what I do is Professor Longhair. That's mm -hmm. my thing, you know, so. would do is change the uh, key up to C sharp while everybody's in C. Right. You know, and um, so you know, you're and you just change the C to a C sharp, but keep everything in C, so it'd be like, and everybody sitting in would just, you know, be totally like, what, what is the, going on? What's wrong know? with that piano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Or just what's wrong with me or whatever it is. <laughs> and then, you know, on the clav, it's all about that wah wah. It's, uh, it's because of the clav that Art Neville sat in with us. We were at uh, Red Rocks and uh, and we were playing with the Meters and uh, now was that this the Neville Brothers. This was like ten years oh, okay, ago. Okay, okay. This is way back. And uh, but then I started on the clav. And he, he just kind of walked up and was like, oh, I like that clav. So this is what got Art Neville up here to play with us. You know, it's uh, 
it's all about percussion. Right. The Hammond organ is the best instrument ever created. I mean, I still, it's just a world unto itself. I never stop learning, even after 20 years on this thing. I just feel like there's still settings and little things I can do that, that you know, just make it so different. I, you know, get the echo of into that right now like taking the bottom out right like jimmy smith or something uh you know where he gets that that percussion thing going where it's like uh i like the bottom on that the spit very percussive so you know trying to get as much percussion going as possible right and uh, that's pretty much it you know that's what gets me through the night